Okay, so we're going to get started on the other angles, but before I do, there's a few items on the zero degree angle that needs to be corrected. Um, the first thing I notice is that I have not colored in the bottom portion of her outfit, so I'm going to fix that as well as I think I may change the color outline of her headband and um, I'll make those corrections real quick and then we'll get started with the other angles. Okay, so I think I like this look much better and now that I have my zero degree angle completed. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to start working on the 180 degree angle. And the first thing I want to do is hide the pivots so that you can really see what you're working with. So I'm gonna go in and go ahead and, and expand the 180 degree angle and hide the pivots. And what we can do to get started much faster is go ahead and is to go ahead and um, transfer the zero degree angle feet and arms to this angle view. Okay. Um, and now I'm going to start to work on the upper torso, but first I want to hide the back here so I can see the upper torso much better. And I'm going to go ahead before I get started and convert my lines to fill. Now I'm going to go back to the zero degree angle. And I'm going to click inside the upper torso, highlight everything, copy it, and go back into the 180 degree angle and paste it. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I would prefer to have everything be identical in height. And for some reason, this appears to be a little smaller than the original. I could be wrong. No, okay, so that's about the exact setting. I'm just gonna go ahead and slide it over until this matches up over here. Okay, so I no longer need this piece, I'm actually just going to paste the view from the zero degree angle. And since the bottom portion is exactly how I would like it, I'm really going to just focus on erasing this top part and making the collar be about right here because um, you wouldn't have that neck line for the um, for the zero degree angle. So using the eraser tool, I'm going to go ahead and start to erase everything that's right there. And once again, when you do your line work from a distance, sometimes when you zoom in, you'll notice that 
it's not that neat. So I'm going to go ahead in and just clean up the lines a little bit. As a matter of fact, I might go ahead and color. And then fix the lines. Okay, so here is the 180 degree angle completed. And I think it matches up with the zero degree angle just fine. So the last portion would be to do the hair. And to go about doing that, I'm going to first grab, once again, the hair from the zero degree angle. And I'm going to take it over, delete this one because we don't need it, and paste. This here. And just to make sure I have it lined up exactly the same, I'm going to drag this over slowly just to make sure I have it lined up and then I'm going to slide it back over to the zero degree, I mean to the 180 degree angle. So now that I know that it's lined up correctly, I'm going to drag it back over here. So there's a few things we want to keep with this. Um, sorry, let me go back into it. There's a few things we want to keep with this design, and then there's a few things we want to modify. And the first thing I want to do is, of course, um, make this hair completed on all the angles. So let me first go back and sample this black. Actually, I think it's this one here. And I will go ahead and finish drawing out the rest of her hair. And well, before I get started, let me go ahead and hide the upper torso because I want to be able to see all of her um, hair on the face make sure I've covered the whole face. So I'm going to hide that as well as the arms. And I'm going to go ahead and start to erase the lines that I don't want to show anymore. And then fill in the rest. So that it looks something like this. Okay, and to do my line going straight down, I'm going to sew it to um, to only paint the selection, and then I'm going to highlight selection I wanted to paint. Now to make a straight line you can hold the, the shift button 
and then just draw straight down. Hopefully that did it correctly. There you go. So now the last piece is to move the feathers that's right here in the back to right here in the front. And for that piece, I am going to use the lasso tool. Actually, it doesn't require the lasso tool. What it really requires me to do is to continue to draw um, the rest of the feathers in. And then start to draw the completed version of the feathers. Now the only thing that needs to be swapped out would be the ponytail, the pigtails. I want to move them from the back hair, which I guess at this angle was the front front hair angle to the back hair angle. So I'm going to use the lasso tool and just grab the ponytail. And I'm going to move it out of this angle. And if we don't have a front hair, um, oh gosh, I'm moving. Okay, and if we don't have a front hair in place, um, we can just create one. We'll just create a layer for the front hair. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Now, for me, the naming convention is not important because I'm using the puppet producer. But if you do not have the puppet producer, then you need to make sure that it matches up with the standards that Illusion has requested. If not, those items will not show up in Crazy Talk Animator. I'm going to go ahead and take this and drag this back over and try to line it back up where it was at before. And since I'm pretty much finished with this view, I'm going to go ahead and um, enable the upper torso again and the arms. So, um, the way I want this ponytail to fall is I want it to be in front of, I'm sorry, in the back of the arms. So I need to make sure that I put this on the proper layer. So this will be the proper layer. So for both the left and the right arm, the ponytail will be behind it. So as she's walking, it will look like her pigtails are in the front, just like it looks right now for the zero degree angle. And since I have one side done, I'm just going to simply copy, paste in place, and flip it.
so that it lines up with the other side. And now to fix the other side, I'm going to go back into um, the back hair and then use the lasso tool one more time to um, wrap just the ponytail. And delete it. And I will just do a little bit of the cleanup from me taking a little chunk of the outline with me. Now, what I've noticed is that a portion of her hair is showing through the hand. So let me go back to the front hair and drag this down even further so that it does not show through. And there you have it. We now have the 180 degree angle completed. So now we have the zero. Um, degree in the 180 degree.